Loss. Loss. Intuition. Chapatwafe. Where is the dragon over there? Gunshots. What's happened here? That looks weird. What looks weird? Like, it's like, there's a... Do you what? see what I mean? No. It's like weird... It's lighter than everything else. Yeah, why? That I think that's a different corner. The light's reacting differently. Huh. Well, I guess we can save. Yeah. Since it's a new chapter. <sighs> okay. Everyone knows what oh, we're wait, recording first of all, now. <laughs> um... Hey. Lorem's out of the picture. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. I woke with my Maybe eyes. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> Maybe. I woke with my eyes fixed on the ceiling wallpaper. <laughs> crack, bro. Shut up. A sense of <laughs> dread lingered from a nightmare I no longer remembered. How many more times would I see this apartment before I returned to my own world? Or before something happened to me? Bam, bam, bam. I got ready for the day and tried to shake off those thoughts. <laughs> hey, horny. And right on the minute, you show up at this time every day like clockwork. C -c Clocks are reliable. And reliable is g g good in this line of work. Uh, I think you can guess why I'm here. Is it Reza again? What happened this time? The, the chief will explain everything once we get Lord, there. Lord, totally dead. L let's not keep him waiting, shall we? He's totally dead. No more of your high-pitched wee <sighs> Well, it's, uh, it's a house. We arrived at... Oh, ominous music. We arrived at a place that wouldn't look like an ordinary house had it not been for its extraordinary size. Reminded me more of a hostel than a family home. Ch Chief! There you are. Wait, weren't you supposed to be with Emma? Luckily she doesn't work every day of the week. I see. Anyway, we're nearly done here, so I'll keep it short. Reza broke into the actuary. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! There's another murder victim, an employee of the actuary, who was on night duty. Her body was found quite away from here. There's evidence of a struggle, but she covered a lot of distance before it was ultimately over. Loud bangs were heard in the area around... Uh, area her body was found. And she has numerous wounds consistent, but with the... Both the wounds of the previous victims and that other weapon he has. That's the first time that one has been at least partly killed by the gun. Mm. The others have been exclusively by knife. Yes. Or something else that sharp. Or something else, yeah. Could be claws. Implying it's a dragon, of course. Yeah. By this point, news of another corpse didn't have the same impact anymore. She was just another one of Reza's faceless victims. Hatchery? Is that what this building is? Well, not only. It's a council-owned building, and they like keeping everything related to their sector under the same roof. So, b besides the hatchery, there's also an orphanage and a family clinic inside. There are also offices related to the administration of those services. That reminds me of the production facility. It should. They have a similar management structure. Can we get back to the case? Uh, sorry for the interruption, Chief. Oh, wait a minute. If an orphanage is in there too... Ideen works. Yeah, but look. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Red... What? Ooh... Ooh. Uh -huh. What about that little girl? <gasps> oh, I think it's going to be heartbroken if it's not her dad. Did say she. Let's read on. 
There are no other casualties, but Reza got something else when he broke in. A generator, as well as a few eggs. Why would he want eggs? Take back home for experiment. Luckily, the power was restored before anything happened to all the other eggs uh, left inside. But needless to say, the parents of the stolen eggs are not going to be happy. Why would he steal eggs in the first place? Maybe you can tell us. It's what you hear, after all. They need Spyro. He'll get them back. I don't know. I have no idea what he would even do with them. Maybe he wants to use them as a bargaining chip. Uh, after all, he still has to make his escape, and the p p p portal is still broken. You think he wants to exchange them for safe passage through the portal? Uh, maybe. It's still broken, though, so I'm not sure if that would be much help. Maybe he has the part needed to repair it, and now has everything he needs to escape. He could trade the eggs for safe p p passage, fix a p portal, and leave. That's not the only possibility. He may not be the one who broke the portal. Maybe he thinks you've intentionally sabotaged it so he can't leave, and he feels he needs the eggs as a bargaining chip to get you to repair it. If he just wanted to leave, I feel he could have done that already. Doesn't even matter who sabotaged the portal. We only know that Reza's actions are becoming more and more desperate. He kidnapped defenceless eggs and even used the human weapon. Something's clearly going on with him. Maybe it means that he'll slip up soon. Who knows? Maybe he already has. In any case, we're done here. I said back to the department and decide what to do next. Hopefully some of the test results will tell us something. After a brief walk, we were in Bryce's office again. Initial test results had already come in, but didn't reveal any insightful or new information. You're talking a bit quiet. Okay. So, 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 so what do we do now? G go over the timeline again? Not yet. There are a few things I'd like to take care of first. What do you have in mind? Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Whoa, that's a heavy knock. Maverick. Come in. Yep. I'm all right. Maverick, what are you doing here? Chief, can I talk to you alone? We're quite busy here, Maverick. What is this about? Rizza. Well, you look... Ah, fuck. You're looking at the Reza task force, so if you mind, have, if you have anything to say, you can say it in front of all of us. I see. I think I know where Reza is. You know where Reza is at this very moment? I have a good reason to believe that I have located his hideout. He could still be there. Uh, or, might, or he might have already moved on. Damn Maverick, tell me everything. I've been tracking him for a while now. When he was at the portal a few days ago, I nearly got him and managed to follow him for a while before I lost him. Based on that, where he's been and where his victims have been found, I could triangulate his whereabouts. He has to live somewhere, right? He needs a base to hide the generators and everything he has stolen. That friggin' um, building... That ID wants the map for. But that's that's underneath the portal, isn't it? Yeah. And is it like guarded? He probably there's probably another way in or something. Maybe. Bryce cleared the clutter on a table and smoothed out a map of town on its surface. It already had a few locations related to the case marked on it. Show it to me. Prior victims were found here and here. Today's was here. She was following him, likely because she wanted to save the eggs he stole. This is the path he took from the portal when I followed him a few days ago. We still don't know who this fourth victim is. It's not been said, nope. has it? Probably to drag out... Oh, God, is it Aideen? Shit. So, we have established this is his area of operation. Extrapolated, and we can narrow it down to this now. Where could he be hiding in this area? He's certainly not within the village borders, so unless he's decided to live in the wilderness or in a hole in the ground, the only option is here. 
The abandoned farm. Why did you figure all this out? Just a few minutes ago. When I did, I immediately came here. Damn it, Maverick, this might be it. Sh -sh -sh Should we send an observation team? As if we had one to spare. Heck, we're going there right now. What about you, Maverick? I'm still on sick leave, remember? Besides, if I saw Reza right now, I'd probably do something I shouldn't. How about you, Orny? Isn't this going to be dangerous? Reza probably won't harm you, as you're the only one he could possibly consider an ally. Good point. If anything, with you there, we might be able to convince him to give up. Or we could act like we intend to trade you for the eggs if he tries to use them as a b b bargaining chip. You're not really going to use me as a ransom, right? We'll see about that. <laughs> I suppose if it's necessary, I'll have to play along. I've got your back. If there's one thing we could do to make this whole situation even worse, it would be messing up with you. We have the element of surprise if we walk into his base right now, but we risk Reza lashing out with his weapon. If we want to resolve this peacefully, uh, observation is p p probably the way to so go. we run out of bullets at some point. We right? don't know how many he took. Well, oh, how many he did, he only went with the clothes on his back and a gun, right? So he probably didn't have time to... We also don't know what time, type of gun it is. We don't know if it's a revolver Wait, or a... Wait, we saw it gun. briefly. Did we? Yeah, when he shot Maverick. And he was it, pulled it out. What was it? Uh, I think it was a revolver. So only six. Can't they have up to eight? I think so. So he shot a couple times. He'll nearly be. He out. shot once at Maverick. Mm. So assuming it's the max of eight, that's seven. So unless it's a six one, like he's a Smith and shot this fourth victim a few times. Mm. Let's say twice. We had two gunshots. That is five. Mm. We also heard gunshots of a portal. And I think there were three. Right. That leaves just two. Right. Well, we'll see anyway. I guess we won't need Elni here for that, though. True enough. All right, Elni, you can stay here and wait for further instruction. We may need you at a moment's notice. Don't do anything without us telling you to, understand? Okay. All right, let's go, Sebastian. After you, Chief. And Maverick, good job. Thanks, Chief. Shortly after they vanished, Maverick also turned to leave. Out the window. <laughs> then I had to wait. Bryce and Sebastian were observing the farm now, and if anything new happened, I would be the first to know. I spent some time looking around Bryce's office, studying all the material he had gathered about the case. <laughs> Uh, there wasn't any information that I already, that I didn't already know. After a few hours, the telephone in his office ran, and not sure whether the call was intended for me or Bryce. I picked up. Horny. Yes. No, I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to come here. I'll give you the directions. No problem. <laughs> there you are. So what happened? A lot of nothing. There was no movement to or from the building at, in the time we've been waiting, watching. He usually operates during the night, so maybe he's just asleep? In that case, it would be best for us to go in before he has a chance to make his escape. Or maybe he's not even in there anymore. He could have seen us and slipped away unnoticed, with p p plenty of time to destroy the evidence while well, we've been waiting here. You're right. Either he's still inside or he's gone and not coming back. Let's go in. What should I do? Wait, don't they need a warrant or is it different over here? If it's abandoned, I guess you wouldn't need a warrant. Yeah, it's abandoned. Yeah. You come in with me, Sebastian. You walk around and watch the back of the building just in case he tries to escape. I'm on it, Chief. I go in and you stay here, all right? What am I even here for, then? 
You're our insurance. If Reza tries to flee and seize you, you might throw him off. You might be able to stop him. Or if we get into a stand... Sorry, I didn't realise that was me. If we get into a standoff, I can tell him you're here as well. I just don't want you to come inside when it could become dangerous. I'm leaving it up to you. Whew. Well, first... We're going to save. Because this... This strikes me as quite important. Could be. You pick. Dude. What? Norton. We've got a Norton notif. It doesn't matter, it always does that. Okay, fine. Um, well, I don't want to leave this one up to a coin flip. At least not at the moment. I'm going to let you... Th Judging from your reaction at the moment, I think you know very well that this is important and what the repercussions are. It might be the thing, yeah. Okay. So, presuming it is Reza inside, mm. he doesn't know Bryce at all. Nope. He'll know he's a policeman because of a badge, obviously. Yeah. So he'll know that he's there, probably to reprimand him. Apprehend? Yeah. Or something like that. That might trigger a violent response, might trigger him to flee. If I go in, he'll possibly be more amenable. Maybe. Because it's a familiar face. I, so far, haven't done anything uh, aggressive Though if he him. does see Bryce after you go in... He could think you've turned against him and yeah. use that against you. That could be a point. So uh, either way, you know, it's dangerous. I think there's more margin for error if I don't go in first. Well, you do what you want. I'm going to go with the top one then. Any last inputs? No. Why? Maybe I can talk to him, and we can figure things out. I don't think he wants to kill me, so even if it doesn't work out, Sebastian and you will simply will still need to be nearby to catch him. I'll be right behind you then, but do be careful. We slowly made our way to the front door. I took a deep breath and tried to prepare myself for the possibility of facing Reza. The tense scenarios and things I could say to him rushed through my head as I pressed down on this the door handle. This music is nowhere near intense enough for this situation. The door inched open with a creak, but I noticed a slight resistance and a strange sound that suddenly made me hesitate. That's something rolling. Oh, there's a tripwire. Hovering over the floor. When I looked down to the source of the noise, I saw a taut wire through the gap of the door, hovering over the floor of the entryway. It was a pretty close call, you know. Too bad Reza wasn't here after all. Maybe, maybe, maybe he ran when he saw us approach. Strange for him to leave everything behind, though. Everything he's stolen. All the generators are still here. Okay, so what would have been the difference if had maybe Bryce would have not noticed? I shouldn't tell you. Okay, don't tell me then. Don't tell me. Do, 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 do you think the trap was for us in particular? Probably not. It was more likely for a general safety precaution. He had a, if he had any time to prepare for this, he would have taken the stuff with him. True enough. I had no idea you could make a bomb out of a... What? Oh, fuck. He made a bomb. Yeah. Shit. Ooh. That's pretty heavy, man. Then you just... Then you just haven't been with us long enough. If you know now, it's not even that complicated. And Reza somehow figured it out? Apparently so. Does he have any skills pertaining to engineering or electricity? Well, he's worked on cars before and fixes a lot of things back home. I guess that would qualify. 
He could also have done his own research. Either way, this makes him more dangerous. At least now, we now have a whole building's worth of clues. Tony, can you get to your apartment from here? We'll be busy with this scene for a while. No problem. I'll leave you to your work then. Good job, Ernie. Thanks. So would it have exploded if he'd gone in? Sh fucking shrugging smile and fucking infuriating. <laughs> I want to punch not you. Telling. Ah. I'm surprised you called me back so quickly. How's the investigation going? No more dragon dates, god damn. Uh, oh, the investigation is going swimmingly. But as you can expect, we need all the help we can get. As usual, with how this case has been going, we realised we must employ external help. Oh? Yeah, we've requested assistance from one of the cities. We hope they'll send some good investigators our way soon. I see. We were so close today. He could have been in there, you know. Maybe we just came a few minutes too late. And if he knows how to make b bombs from generators, who's to say he won't start using them elsewhere? At least he doesn't have any right now, does he? We said all the generators that were stolen are now accounted for. True, but still this whole case is growing to be too much for a small town p p police department. I hope you get all the ne help you need. Me too. But right now, you can help us again. Well, what do you have for me? When we searched the building, we found more than the things Reza stole. We also found this b -b bloody b -b bandage. Do you think that's his? That's what we need to find out. But given all that we know, it probably is. So he's wounded. We know he was injured during the fight with his first victim, but whether this is the same wound or something else, I'm not sure. In any case, you could bring it into the lab for us to find out more. You know what I think of your theory? That this yeah. is all Maverick trying to frame Reza. And he set up that bomb. He doesn't really have any hands to do that with. I, I, I don't know, I just think... It's a theory. Breaking the portal is fine, because that can be brute forced. But making a bomb? That's very finicky. I don't think he has the knowledge, he nor the simple accomplice. basic dex de de dexterity. He Who would be accomplice. his accomplice be? He did have a thing with uh, Anna at one point. <sighs> I, I very know. much doubt it. Her field is biology. True. Bomb making is largely around chemistry if and engineering. Mm. Anyway. Continue. Sure. Next, we have a witness who reported hearing loud b -b bangs during the night. We'd like to sit in someone to make a follow-up visit. You'll need to confirm the witness statement and see if he has anything you share. Also, now that we've reclaimed your p p p p p p PDAs, we're going to send one to the archives for analysis. Since they have experience with human artifacts, they're better suited to it than any of our departments. No problem. And lastly, we have the eggs. Oh, it's a relief we found them unharmed in the building. They're safe and ready to be sent back to the hatchery. Shouldn't we take care of those first? It's not as urgent as you might think. Our eggs are p p pretty resilient. Being in the care of a hatchery is more of an insurance than a requirement. What are you doing? Listening. To? The, the game. What's wrong? I don't want to wear them on my head. They squish my face. Okay. So some people choose to keep them in their own home until they hatch. Rather than having the hatchery take care of it. The hatchery has been notified, but they won't be able to send someone for a few hours. I've heard that they're really, really understaffed. 
if you bring the eggs and the p p paperwork to them, it'd speed up the process, but it's not an urgent matter. I see. In any case, I'll just leave everything here until I get to it. So feel free to do these tasks as, as you wish. I know it's laughable that we don't even have a free hand for simple errands. Don't worry about it. B -b by the way, are you planning to attend the summer festival? Should I? It's hard to think about something fun when I'm wrapped up in this investigation. What? I don't know, I just keep reading about this certain thing and you can get many different ways of doing it, so... For, for, for sure. It's important to take a short rest so you don't lose your head. Mm. Whing! Whing! There's so much to see at the festival, but particularly the big fireworks. Dragons enjoy fireworks too? I think something like that would feel so commonplace since many of you breathe fire. It's not quite the same. We st still appreciate the wonder of c c colourful b bursts in the sky. On the last day, there's always a, a, a big fireworks show. Everyone usually attends it. Everyone. One place. One time. Oof. Everyone? Yes, it has a great tradition behind it. What peeves me most is that I'll be on guard duty when it happens this year, so I probably won't be able to see a thing. I'll be sure not to miss it then. I anyways, I should get back to the investigation now. I'll leave the stuff for you here, and I'll take care of the rest once I get back, alright? Sure thing. G good luck, horny. You too. Okay, saving here. Hold on, I want to look up the walkthrough real quick. Okay, looking up the walkthrough, I shall shut thine eyes.